let's start knockout js knockout js is client side mvvm javascript library it's an open source javascript library mit license and it helps us to create rich responsive display and editor user interfaces with a clean underlying data model it works on all mainstream browsers some of the cool features of knockout js are elegant dependency tracking that is automatically updating the right parts of your UI whenever your data model changes declarative bindings a simple and obvious way to connect parts of your UI to your data model you can construct a complex dynamic UI easily using arbitrarily nested binding contexts trivially extensible implement custom behaviors as new declarative bindings for easy reuse in just a few lines of code some of the additional benefits it's a pure JavaScript library and it can be added on top of your existing web application without requiring major architectural changes. It's very compact, close to 13 KB when gzipped and it works on mainstream browsers starting from i6. So what is it good for? Knockout JS provides rich client-side interactivity and with this we get rid of overlapping mess of interrelated event handlers. With MVVM pattern, that is model view, view model pattern, we get object oriented JavaScript and declarative bindings. Obviously, wide browser support is always there. So, knockout JS is good when our UI gets non trivial and has a few overlapping behaviors. Because in that case, things can get tricky and expensive to maintain if we just go with raw JavaScript or jQuery. And the reason for that is because jQuery or raw JavaScript does not come with an underlying data model, whereas Knockout JS has an underlying data model. So it's much easier with Knockout because it lets you scale up in complexity without fear of introducing inconsistencies. We'll see how easy it is when we'll be dealing with some examples. Now let's come to MVVM model. As the name suggests, it is model view view model. Over here we have got three different points model view model and view model basically contains the business domain logic business rules data access model classes etc view model acts as a middleman between the view and the model view obviously has the user interface now let's understand mvvm in detail first starting with the model the model is what i like to refer to as the domain object the model represents the actual data and or information we are dealing with. An example of a model might be a contact containing name, phone number, address, etc. The key to remember with the model is that it holds the information but not behaviors or services that manipulate the information. Now coming on to the view. The view is what most of us are familiar with and the only thing the end user really interacts with. It is the presentation of the data. The view takes certain liberties to make this data more presentable. For example, showing a date in the local time format, whereas it's stored in UTC format in the model. A view can also have behaviors associated with it, such as accepting user input. The view manages input, that is key presses, mouse movements, touch gestures, etc., which ultimately manipulates properties of the model. In MVVM, the view is active as opposed to a passive view which has no knowledge of the model and is completely manipulated by a controller or presenter. The view in MVVM contains behaviors, events and data bindings that ultimately require knowledge of the underlying model and view model. While these events and behaviors might be mapped to properties, method calls and commands, the view is still responsible for handling its own events and does not turn this completely over to the view model. Now, the view model. The view model is a key piece of the triad because it introduces presentation separation or the concept of keeping the nuances of the view separate from the model. Instead of making the model aware of the user's view of a, let's say, date so that it converts the date to the display format, the model simply holds the data. The view simply holds the formatted date and the controller acts as the liaison between the two. The controller might take input from the view and place it on the model or it might interact with the service to retrieve the model then translate properties and place it on the view. The view model also exposes methods, commands and other points that help maintain the state of the view 
manipulate the model as the result of actions on the view and trigger events in the view itself. The view model exposes not only the models but other properties such as state information and commands. The view handles its own UI events then maps them to the view model via commands. The models and properties on the view model are updated from the view two-way data binding. The view model may expose the model directly or properties related to the model for data binding. The view model can contain interfaces to services, configuration data, etc. in order to fetch and manipulate the properties it exposes to the view. Things will get more clear when we'll start working with examples using Knockout.js.